Hi, this is Dr. Ken Hudson again. I'm going to talk about how to run an awesome brainstorming session. This is part one. There's another video to follow, but I'm going to give you five or six guidelines that I know work all the time, every time. And they overcome all the problems that we've um, I talked about in the um, earlier video with brainstorming. Okay. The first problem, or the first suggestion, to run an awesome session is to have a tight focus. Now that might sound like a contradiction, but it's much better to say, for example, we're going to run a brainstorming session aimed at teenagers because we want to develop a new product that we can test within three months that might cost less than $20,000. You can be very creative within that tight focus. Invite a diverse group. What you want is people that look the world differently from you. If you only have the same people looking at the world in the same way, you'll get the same responses. The third point is send the challenge out 24 hours beforehand. This allows people to think about it, they can um, do some background if they want, and it gets their mind ticking over. And then ask them to come along with three ideas. If you have, say, ten people, if everyone comes along with three ideas, you start the session with thirty ideas. Imagine the power of that with thirty ideas as you walk into the room. You get the session off to a great start. Run shorter, fr more frequent sessions. Um, the idea of running a brainstorming session for a whole day and you run it once or twice a year is an outdated idea. The world is moving faster and quicker, and if you've got a problem, you want to solve it quickly. So shorter, faster sessions um, is a much better way to go. Creativity is like a muscle, and the more you exercise it, the better you'll be. So, in the next session, I'll talk about the um, next six tips.